Oslo is a video creation and video editing platform and you don't have to download anything to use it. It's all web-based. You could just use it on your computer on their website. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it in this video. I'll focus on five easy to follow steps. We'll start with the basics and then we'll get more advanced as we get towards the end of the video with some advanced options. So again, there is a link in the description to bring you here and you could just press get started for free and then create yourself an account. I'm inside of my homepage here where all your recent projects are going to show up. So you could create a new project from here. I'm gonna create a new video inside of this project. Now, the very first thing in basic editing is obviously uploading the files you want to edit with. So you could use videos here, you could use photos. I'm gonna press upload and I have a few clips here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all these like this and open it up. And I'm gonna give it a few seconds here, depending on the size of the clip, to go ahead and import the clip into the project. Now, once your media is imported, you should see a little preview of it right here. You could also refresh the page if this is taking a bit of time. And then what you could do is you just press this plus sign or you could grab and drag it and drop it down here. Down here is called your timeline. So everything that you do in editing will take place down here. And then it will show a preview of what you're looking at. This is your final video over here. So this white line, this is called your playhead. So wherever this is, that's what you're going to see over here in your preview window. So for example, I could go to the very beginning, press play right here or space bar on your keyboard and it's gonna play the video, the slow motion clip that I have. So next, I'm gonna bring my playhead over here right after this clip ends and I'm gonna add another clip as well. So I'm gonna take this one and you could bring it down here and then you could drag and drop it over here and make sure it connects to the previous clip. I let it go a little bit too soon so I could grab it and make sure it snaps. See when it snaps, it creates this plus sign in between where you could add a little transition. So now if I bring this white line here and press play, it's gonna cut from that clip to this clip. Now once you add your clips, sometimes you need to trim those clips. So I'll show you here with this clip. Sometimes you wanna make sure this starts a little bit later. So to do that, I'm gonna grab it in the beginning, not the plus sign, right over here. And I'm gonna grab in. So this is gonna make sure this starts a bit later. That's trimming the beginning of it. And I'm gonna zoom this out a little bit so I could get to the end of it. And I do the same thing at the end, grab it and end it a little bit sooner. So that's how you basically make an edit to the beginning and end of a clip. And again, I'm gonna grab it and make sure it snaps to the previous clip so there's no gap. You don't want a gap because when there is a gap, it's just gonna play a black part of the video. And sometimes you split in the middle of a clip. So especially if you're talking and you make a mistake, you could go over here, select this clip, and then there's this icon right here for splitting. And you see how I created a cut right here. I'm gonna go a little bit later, select this clip again, and I'm gonna cut again. And then now I could take something in the middle out like this. So I could select this and then press delete here and then take the rest of it and then again, snap it back to the previous clip. Or sometimes what I like to do is just leave a gap like this, go back to my media and then I could bring in, for example, this time I'll bring in this image here and I'll just put it right over here in between the two different clips. So you do have that option as well. In this case, let me go ahead and delete this one and I'll just go ahead and bring this clip back over here. Now, let me show you transitions quickly between each clip, like for example, when this clip ends and this one starts, right now it's just a cut. But if you press this plus sign, you have lots of different transitional options here. I'll show you directional here, for example, if you press play now, it kind of has a different look to it. So these transitions are really useful anytime you could delete them by clicking on them or updating them and choosing something else. Like this one, I'll choose that, and that's a whole different look to it that looks more advanced. Now, some clips are going to have a little audio, so sometimes you wanna detach the audio. If you right-click on any of them, you could actually detach audio from the clip, and it'll take the sound from that clip and put it on a different track over here. Now, you could select this one, for example, and you could actually change the volume setting. So it's going to take you to the settings menu if you choose this audio track, and you could make it, for example, a background music and turn it to 25% or 20% or all the way to zero. That's a great use of this. And you could always delete it too without interfering with the video file. Now, sometimes after you add your transitions, you might wanna add some text as well. There's a text option over here. 
So if you look over here, we do have multiple different menus and text is really, really simple to use. You just click on it right over here and it's gonna add it to another track right here on top of your video. So if I grab this and put it in the beginning right here, I could click this text, it's loaded over here and I could type in my own text and it's putting it right over here. Let me go ahead and change the color so you could see it a little bit better. Let's just make it black. You see it is right over here and you could grab it and make it whatever size you want and put it anywhere within your project. It's really easy to move it around. You could always change the font size over here. So again, you could maybe make it a little bit bigger here and you could change the font style as well. That's over here. You could change the opacity of it too if you want it to be a little bit transparent. You could always edit text like the same as video. So I could shrink this down for example so it's only over this one clip. You could always duplicate text as well. So let me duplicate it and this one I'll bring to the end. So it's gonna go right after my video ends and then I'll show you what that looks like. Right now it's black so I'm gonna select it and change it to white and this could be your end screen, right? So I'm gonna select it, I'm gonna type in the end and there's your end graphic right here and I'll move it right to the center and it's gonna give me some guides. Right there is snapping right in the middle of my screen and I could trim this down again at the end. So now it's gonna go from my last clip to the end credit here. Now typically when you're done with your project, I will show you some more advanced options in a second but you could just press export right here, save this and it's gonna download it to your computer. But let's move on to step two because right now I wanna show you this options with animation that is really, really useful. So let me go ahead and delete this text. Let me select this video clip right here. Now, when you have a clip selected and you're in the settings window under edits, you have some more advanced options. One of my favorite is this one option called animations. Look how this works. For example, I could do this zoom animation. This is one of the more advanced options, but it will basically take the start of the video. That's this box over here and then zoom to the end of the video, which is this box in the middle here. So I could move this inside box and I could make it smaller or bigger. And look what happens. I'm gonna to go to the beginning, press space bar, and you see how it's zooming in to the portion of the video that I selected here. So if I want it to be even tighter, I could go ahead and do that. And look at this. It's gonna zoom right into her face right there. And I could always make it even quicker. So if I want a one second quick zoom, I could change this to one second, press space bar. It's a quick snap zoom into the video here. So this one is really useful, but there are a bunch of other options. Like there's this one, this is really cool. Check this out, hue rotate. It's gonna kind of change the color of this video as it goes through the video. So you could use this creatively as well. There's this cool flicker option as well that could come in handy for a special effect. And from this animation window, by the way, you could change the speed of a clip. So if I wanna make this double the speed, you see it cut the time in half. Now I could go in the beginning of it and I'll change the animation to none, press play, and it's now twice as fast as it was before. And while we're over here, there's an adjust tab too for each clip here. You could change the size of the clip, the position of the clip. You could just zoom it in. This will keep it zoomed in the whole time so there's no animation to it. You could rotate it, you could flip a clip. There's a bunch of different options and you could change the color. There's brightness, contrast, then there's hue here. You could change the color of it and you could add saturation or take it out and make it black and white. So these are all different useful options. Each clip has them under the settings tab and I really enjoy this animation and speed change option. Now, the third thing I wanted to show you is you could collaborate with other people. So someone could jump in, edit the same project. This is really, really useful. So this is how you do that. I'm gonna get out of this project right here. It's going to auto save it for me anyway. So it's going to be over here. All the projects that are in this tab right here, I could add someone to basically edit this project with me. So I would type in someone's email name, invite them, and they could literally come into the same page, click this project, open it up here, and then make edits to it, and those edits will be saved automatically too. So if you were to outsource editing, for example, how great is that to easily work on a project with multiple people all online? Something that's just not very easily possible with apps that you download on your computer. And another really useful option is the ability to actually publish directly to YouTube. Check this out. You could press export right here and instead of exporting to your computer, which is typically what I would do, you could instead press this option right here and press export and it will post to your YouTube channel. But you do have to link your YouTube channel first. So let me show you that. I'm gonna exit here again. 
you could jump over here to settings, go to general settings, and over here you could link your Google accounts and you could then directly post it. Now I recommend you leave it as an unlisted video, which this lets you do. So you could jump into your YouTube studio and then make sure you have your thumbnail and description and so on in YouTube studio. Now let me show you some advanced settings before we finish up this video. So check this out. You have this filters tab that we did not cover, but it lets you take any clip. I'll take this clip for example, and quickly apply a whole filter to it to change the look of that clip. Now this is better than the manual color correction because then you could have the exact same kind of look to your entire video, which is gonna be hard if you do this manually and you could always remove it one clip at a time over here. There's this comment tab as well. So you could basically comment on a video. Let's say I gave this to someone else and I wanted them to turn my video into black and white. So I could type over here, make black and white, press send. It's going to leave that comment on that time. So this is nine seconds into my video. So then when I collaborate with someone, they jump in, they either reply or they make the change. So they'll go ahead and click this, go to filters, make it black and white, and then go to the comment section and mark it as resolved. Again, this is one of my favorite things with this platform is the ability to work on the same projects with multiple people. And one of the more useful options too is under settings and you could actually change the format. So I was making this for YouTube, but you could, for example, change it for TikTok. And then I could just make adjustments to this video. So it's made for TikTok. So I'll center that text. You could also choose Instagram and Facebook here. And it's gonna let you create what are square videos here to make sure everything is working in a square format. So that's really, really useful. The ability to change any format that you want and you could also change the background color. So for example, let me go to the TikTok format and let's say this video was just in the middle and the background right now is black and that's not what I want. I could quickly change the background. So I'm gonna go to settings over here. I'm gonna deselect my clip here and then I'm gonna make sure the background color is changed. So for example, if I wanted to make it blue, you see how I could easily do that here and that is going to be my new background for vertical type videos something that is really hard to do manually if you don't have the simple option between the different formats available here with this background settings. Very interesting platform. I think you're gonna find it really useful. Give it a try. I have a link in the description and I hope to catch you on the next video.